What is consciousness? Right now I'm having many different sensations, thoughts, emotions, which make up my so-called phenomenal experience. I'm also a subject of those, those experiences because it seems very hard for us to think about those experiences if they do not belong to someone. I can feel many different things right now while being alive. I can feel the, the warmth of the sun on my face. I can touch this tree bark and feel its texture in my hands. Of course, as it is usually the case, there are philosophers that would deny that consciousness even exists or that we're not selves or subjects of experience. But it seems that pre-reflectively we have this immediate uh, connection, intimacy with what seems to be the case and what we see, what we feel, what we hear to our emotions. We also have very different kinds of self-consciousness. So what is it and how to find its place in the natural world? That is the problem of consciousness. We want to answer many questions, both scientists and philosophers, about consciousness. For example, in human beings, there are certain very difficult case, cases when we cannot say if the patient, for example, in a comatose state or a vegetative state is conscious or not, or are there only islands of conscious activity in the brain. We would also like to understand or to know if different kind of other creatures that are alive or have consciousness, are endowed or imbued with sentience. So although my grumpy black cat can be disinterested or non-responsive sometimes, I do not doubt that it has consciousness. But I can ask a question, could a cephalopod have conscious experiences? Does it have subjective experiences? And this means to say that there is something it is like to feel this coldness, to see this light and so on, to have these sens sensations. There is a certain quality to this feeling of being alive. This is what consciousness is all about. As David Chalmers has shown, many of those questions are the so-called easy problems of consciousness. That means that uh, answering the questions about integration of information in cognitive systems, about the difference between wakefulness and uh, unconsciousness can be e more easily answered and can be answered within explaining some kind of a function. And cognitive science can do this. But there is also the so-called hard problem of consciousness. And that is the question, how do we get consciousness in the first place? How do certain physical or neurophysiological systems have something like conscious experience. So in order to answer all this easy and hard problem of consciousness, we make up a lot of different scientific and philosophical theories of consciousness. There's a whole plethora of new theories trying to tackle these questions and to answer them. For example, there is the integrative information theory by Giulio Tononi, a very recent theory claiming that consciousness arises when there is enough integration of information in the brain. Also, there is the, neuro, the global neural workspace theory, the higher order thought theory. Then there is a lot of predictive processing theories, predictive coding, free energy principle like by Carl Friston, for example. Also, there is the radical plasticity theory by Axel Clearmans which claims that the brain itself can learn to be conscious through development. Again, so all these theories are trying to explain some aspect of consciousness or even try to, or even try to answer the hard question, how do we get consciousness in the first place from the brain? Because uh, the brain is such a complex system in which there are uh, up to 88 billion neurons and each of these neurons has up to 10,000 different connections to other neurons. So we try to see how then consciousness as a unified phenomenon 
that we can experience arises out of that system. How should we weigh in which theory is better than the other one? Which, is the, which one is more successful, successful or gives a better explanation, better predictions? So certain neuroscientists and philosophers come together to form this kind of a adversarial collaboration, a special kind of approach to confronting different theories of consciousness and seeing and devising certain experiments or empiric empirical research that would give us the results which predictions are better, which theories are better. 